I'm Robert Barnes from Spider Machines, and with automatic t-shirt printing machines, you go through many steps and procedures to install the screen, the squeegees, the flood bars on your job. In this video, we're going to cover the different variations and steps on how to get you up and running. On the older conventional screen printing machines, you have a front and a rear screen clamp. And in order to introduce the screen, you have to release the clamp and raise the head. Now you have safety cords, so you have to disconnect the safety cords to make sure you're safe. Now, when you take the screen and you introduce it, now if this is a job that you've already printed on, you're going to have ink in your screen. So when you slide the screen in, you have to be very careful to not drag them through your image area. Okay, so keep in mind, if this had an image in it and it had ink, and this is a job you're setting up again, you don't want to drag it across the platen, otherwise you'd be putting ink all over the platen. So when you insert the, the frame, you slide it all the way to the rear, and then you can lower it down on the platen. But if you're working with somebody, just make sure that on the other side of the machine, trying to uh, roll the pallet, which is going to knock the screen off. So you have a locking pin, you release the locking pin here, and swivel down. Now a common, a common occurrence is this cable will get pinched between the screen and the screen holder. So you want to get that back on both sides, raise the screen, come in, and this is a little tricky. It's a, it's a red handle and there's a hook underneath and sometimes you have to look underneath to lock it. Now on, on this older design, you also want to be careful about these bolts. Over time they can get loose and actually start to cause registration problems because this mechanism will move. Now many shops are using a pre-registration system. In this case, we're going to do the old conventional way with film. So you're going to raise the table, disconnect your safety cables obviously, you'll step inside the machine. Now in order to see the artwork to align the screen, you'll need to push the carriage back. Now on these older machines, they use a worm gear, so it's a little difficult to push it back, so you just kind of give it steady pressure until it goes to the back. Now, you'll line up your artwork. Now, there's off contact present, so you'll need to make sure you push the screen down to where you can see your image or your registration marks as you line up. With the older toggle switches, you want to ease the toggle switch on because once you've located the screen and you're holding it in place, you want to ease the toggle switch on so that it doesn't shift the screen, okay? Now, once you've done this, you're going to reconnect your safety. And one of the common problems that you run into is if you don't pay attention and you leave the head in the back and you press the reset button, what happens? The head violently slams to the back and you can hear the motor straining right now. So you need to break the safety system or hit the ESOP. On the Mustang, whether there's ink in the screen or not, it's just as simple as taking the screen, introducing it into the screen holder and sliding it in. It's that simple. So if we were using a pin system or a tri-lock, you have full access. So your tri-lock would come up, you'd be able to slide the frame and lock it right in place, or a pin system, you have complete access. You don't have to worry about a screen holder being in your way. But in this case, we're using a conventional method, say a film positive or printing the black outline. Now, with digital technology like you have on the Mustang, you can change your off contact. Currently, we're at 1 8 of an inch, so we're going to take a look at that. If raise it up, we've got one eighth of an inch. Now, if I have a film positive underneath, I'm going to have to push the screen down so I can see my image or my registration marks. The beauty with digital technology is what? I can change this. I can reduce it down to zero off contact. Then when I raise it up, I don't even have to push the screen down. It is at zero. I can see exactly what I'm doing. I can make my micro adjustments and then I can simply flip the switch and I'm done.